What's up Infected? Welcome to the quarantine. Today I got an unboxing for you. This was on my porch and it should be, uh, I think it's called Martian, A Tale of Civilization from Kickstarter. So we're, I've ripped off the, the shipping label here, but this is exactly what was on my porch. So we're just gonna kind of dive right in. And this is one of the games that I've been super looking forward to. Um, one thing I've started to notice though with a lot of my Kickstarter games is they don't come from somebody real big like Cool Mini or Not or something. The rule books are kind of trash and the game is either incredibly difficult to play or incredibly difficult to understand and, and hold on you on. So I'm, I'm really hoping this one's not. And we have foam. So much foam. All right, well, we got the game here. Limited Kickstarter edition. Ew. At the back of the box. And let's see if there's anything else in here. Or if it's things that I'm going to drive my wife's cat crazy with. Nope, nothing. So we're just going to throw that right there. All right, so I got the Burger Town version. And, yeah, Red Imp. One to four. I'm not really sure how it plays one player, but you know, whatever. I just remember it. Uh, it seemed like it was really neat when I uh, checked the Kickstarter out back when that was running. Um, other than that, I actually don't remember a lot about the game. I think um, Rado went through it, and uh, Ricky Royal went through it, and they both really enjoyed it. So. I don't know, I wound up kickstarting it. I don't need to excuse why I kickstarted it. I kickstarted it because it looked cool. And I'm a sucker for sci-fi. Uh, this is like a realistic, like, nowadays, like, tomorrow we started colonizing Mars kind of thing, from what I understood. So, and I'm a big sucker for anything sci-fi and space related and blah, blah, blah. So, first and foremost, we got fancy pantsy rulebook. The graphic, uh, my brain does not want to function and work out how a camera works um so far I, i'm liking the uh the layout of the rule book it seems like it'll probably be and now i've said this with rule books that aren't very good but as well but uh it looks like it won't be too bad because one of the things that i've noticed with a lot of kickstarters their rule books read as though like you've kind of played the game already, or you've test played the game numerous times, or whatever. It's almost as though they didn't go through any kind of um, blind testing, which is so obnoxiously annoying. And I'm just, I'm, the only reason why I'm pointing that out, I'm not saying this game's gonna be like that, I'm just really hoping it's not. Uh, it just seems like more Kickstarters that I get in the mail um, than not have that problem. I don't know what that is, uh, what is it? Uh, Oh, and errata and FAQ, probably after printing some issues that they had. Yeah, that's probably what it was, where the pieces probably got printed already, and they were, the files, they're already in man manufacturing them, going back to the rulebook, realizing, oops, there's some problems, and that's what that is. So, that's not a big deal. I could definitely deal with that. So, we got uh, Mission to Mars, first astronaut, first astronaut. I'm guessing these are the colors or something. I don't I don't really remember. Like I said, uh, I also just got off work, like literally just got off work. So I'm a little tired. And I really wanted to look through the components, but I wanted to do an unboxing for it. So I figured I'd hurry up. I actually have company coming over as well here in like 20 minutes. Uh, so if I seem a little bit rushed, I'm not trying to, but that might also be why because I have a company coming over to play a game that uh, I've got to review. I'm not really sure what that is. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be an extra board or something, or like a map edition, whatever. Not sure. I actually don't even think I watched a whole lot of gameplay of it. I just like fell in love with the theme and that's, that's pretty much what it is. I do know these, you pop these out and the, the token quality, by the way, I probably should have done that a little earlier. Token quality is, is nice. It's not like super thick, like cool many are not tokens, but they, they've got a, they got a pretty decent thickness to it. But these are like placed out on the map and then you, you flip them over and that way while you're exploring Mars, it's a little different because 
you gotta you know excavate and try to find like ice and minerals and stuff like that so um do we want to do the board now yeah let's do the board now and if there's any cuts or anything in this uh just know i won't be looking at anything that's that uh isn't on camera so if for whatever reason this probably won't happen but if there's a cut and then it's suddenly daytime outside that's because company showed up early and I stopped the recording, but I, like I said, I'm not gonna look at anything unless it's on camera. So if that's the case, I will just put everything up exactly how it is, and then I'll pull it back out tomorrow morning before work. So we got this side of the board, and then the other side is double-sided, and I don't know if there's anything different. So um, somebody with a keener eye than me will probably notice a difference. I don't, I think it's just like the color palette because then this is more, this is a richer color palette, whereas I think this one is like the realistic colors of Mars and what everything would be, whereas this is more novelty colors and brighter hue, you know, uh, brighter, brighter hues and deeper reds and stuff like that. Other than that, like I was watching over here and it looks pretty much identical. I do really like the look of everything though. It's, it's very, uh, very, I don't know the word, very high tech and sci-fi, but still maintaining like a very real look to it. Like that's probably what a little uh, station that you, you know, the little uh, living quarters or whatever would kind of look like. So those are there. I'm not really sure what the British cards are for, but uh, we will look at those in a minute. What is in here? Let's put that over there. Okay, pieces. Um, these are your astronauts. They look all look pretty much the same, so we'll pull out the best color. And that's what they look like there. These are your player pieces, it looks like. So that's neat. They all look exactly the same. We got a little card in here. Uh, okay, that's in German, it looks like. Most of that is anyways, so. I can't speak German. Took a German class for like two weeks and then I got kicked out of the class because I was too busy, you know, not doing schoolwork. And we're just gonna leave that story there. Um, these are, looks like resources of some kind. Don't know. I'm guessing these uh, are for player counters and then that looks like maybe a food counter. It looks like some lettuce or something right there. And looks like a little water droplet right there. So I don't know. We get probably metal right there. Huh. Yeah, little um, first aid tokens. They got little crosses on them, but they look a little weird, so I don't know. Huh. I'm not really sure, but. Um, and, and I say this, and I say this as well on almost every one of my uh, unboxings. Maybe I'll get around to reviewing this. Um, I'm actually probably going to be slowing down a little bit on reviews purely. And by slowing down, I mean trying to get newer games to review. These are fish tank ornaments, by the way. But, um, and just review games that I already, that I actually own versus trying to get newer games purely because of, uh, uh, I just recently started a new job, and I probably should focus on that a little more. Um, and it's kind of screwed up my game group, so that's going to be a little difficult to try to recover from. Not really recover from, but we've got to now work around everybody's new schedule, which is interesting. So, um, it looks like the player board, so we're going to put the best color up top, because they all look exactly the same. They're double-sided. Not really sure what the difference is. Whatever. So we're gonna look at just one, the best color. So, ooh, ah. And I think this one's upside down. <laughs> yep, <laughs> there we go. And brain work with me. Okay, so that's the other side. So that's neat, we got a little tableau here. And we'll go through these cards in a minute. We got, uh, Markers, okay, so the cheater cards, quick reference cards. Gives you, tells you what all the little symbols are, it looks like, and uh, technologies, and what the building's names are, and whatever cycle means, stuff like that. So that's neat. 
<clears throat> and then looks like, and you also have to forgive me, I actually just got over a cold as well. So if I sound a little different and, uh, or I keep coughing, uh, which I'm trying to not do, but uh, that's probably why. But yeah, it looks like there's different scenarios that have different goals. Of course, Mars one, and Unvisage sur Mars. I hope the other side's English. Face on Mars, okay, yeah, so it is. So that's neat. that's a lot of scenarios actually. Wow, that's actually, I don't think the full retail version is gonna come with all those. I think some of those might be Kickstarter exclusive, but they also might not be, I don't remember. Um, so there's those, we're gonna do these cards last. So it looks like we got a bunch of baggies, which these actually might look like they, they might be good baggies. Usually when games give these baggies, they're either huge and it's just not practical to use them. These actually might be at least close to the right size. So I actually might wind up using these. Usually these go into my bag of bags and I just use the bag, other bags that I buy. So let's see if there's anything fancy under here. Oh, there is. Oh, fancy, look at that. So, looks like we got some minis. This, these I do know are Kickstarter exclusive. This is like the first player token, I think. And this is like the turn counter. It's got uh, the footprint on the moon, or I guess Mars in this case. And then this, I don't really know what that is, but these are our Kickstarter exclusives. Um, there's nothing else in there. So we will put this, the fantasy flight style crappy insert back in here, which I mean, sometimes you don't need a good insert. Sometimes fan crappy fantasy flight inserts just fine. Um, so let's, oh boy, is there, there is, it looks like I'm gonna have to go on the top here and I'm not gonna fool with this and we are going to risk some cards because what is life without risk? All right. <clears throat> I said, sorry if I sound, I feel like my voice sounds a little different just because the cold that I was getting over. All right, throw that over there. And these are, yeah, so the British card just has this on the other side of it. And all right, let's come up here. Let me angle this up this way. So these are the backs of all these. Looks like the backs are all the same, just different. Oh, wait, there's numbers on these. Okay, these are probably like, you separate them into their number and then maybe pull one from each number and that's the event deck or something. Or maybe after a certain a certain things reach a certain level, then you start drawing from a different deck or maybe something, I don't know. Um, I don't know why these would be separate though. I like the artwork though. When I said the artwork is, it's not future, but it, it's in our very, very near future. And we got a little SOS. The medic, the law, labor, fuel leak. So it looks like, yeah, these are just crises cards. It's just crap that you gotta deal with. Probably some kind of bacteria that you can then use to try to maybe sequence a vaccine or something. And then equipment, stuff that you can build. I do know this game can be played cooperatively and it can be played um, competitively. You can play both. So that's neat. I, I'm actually also interested in, there's a, you can play solo apparently as well. So I'm, I'm also really looking forward to that for when my new job, my schedule sucks. So until I've been there long enough and I get a better schedule, I can play some games by myself. You know, if I come home and you know, everybody's busy and whatnot. So we've got this card again. So put that over there. And it looks like the same backs that we saw earlier. So I'm gonna keep those separate until I figure out what the heck they're for. Yeah, so we got purple cards. <clears throat> we got red cards and then more green cards. And yeah, those all just have the numbers and we got blue cards and we got yellow cards now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna Separate these. Yeah, it looks like, okay, so we have like scientists and you know, yeah, bot botanists, scientists, geologists, ge yeah, that's a word, uh, and then chemists, that's neato, pharmacists for making drugs. Uh, so you need $4, looks like gold or something, and then whatever that is, 
plus oxygen maybe makes happy people i don't know uh nutritionist that's neato really looking forward to this yeah and then it looks like we got more hey the quarantine <laughs> uh, anyways <laughs> so let's think yeah we got more crises cards so i said i'll have to check to see what the point of these ones if there's if like they need to stay out or if these are just or these are kickstarter exclusives maybe or whatever i don't know so and i'm hoping as usual that my glare isn't screwing everything up yeah it looks like uh, more weather so we got you know wind stable let's see solar activity neato and see i i like the artwork too it's uh i don't know what this is but promotions or something like rank i don't know but yeah i, I like the art style because it's minimalistic you can well as far as i can tell anyways you kind of get to tell your own story with what that means except for you know of course if you get this you're gonna get no oh, there we go if you get this you're gonna get this but like the picture you get to make your own and then i guess resources or maybe rare minerals you get crystals stuff like that and then nothing maybe Got a lot of nothing cards. And it looks like that is it. So that is uh, Martians, a story of civilization unboxing. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time in the quarantine.